Hello guys, this is Simon, and today we will be doing our first episode of Woody Craft Prison. And make sure you go ahead and check my brother's channel, Nick the Kid, because he helps me a lot on this series. So today I will be doing a little walkthrough of how prison works and a bit about how you get money. So once you click on the wood craft server and click on person, you will arrive here. Here you can see yard, which I will show later. Here you can see a bit of stats about the top people. And over here, you can buy cells. So I'll show you the cells first. So you, there's a command slash cells. And then every time you want to teleport somewhere, it takes five seconds. So slash cells, and then there's three types of cells. There's there's two day cells which include a double chest, your ender chest, and I think two furnaces or maybe one, I'm not sure. And then if you go uh, higher, there's one week cells which lasts, oh no, these are still three days. One, the first one has three days. If you go here, you can see the one week cells. Six, six, six furnaces, more chest, ender chest, crafting table. And then, so I have one of these. And then there is the one month cell, which is all the way up here, which include brewing stands, as you can see over here, like four double chests and a bunch of furnaces. Oh, that's weird. So to go to yours, you can just do slash cell. And to buy it, you can just click on the sign if it says that the date is passed. So I bought the one month cell. You can access your ender chest, chest, and a bunch of furnaces. So next, when you spawn at the spawn, you're going to want to do slash Zulu. That is the first word there is in the Woodycraft prison. Right now I'm Bravo, which is the second highest, and I can almost be an Alpha. And right now there is a times two selling thing. So here's the shop for Zulu. There's also you can get some food by killing the animals. Enchanting table, you can buy enchants also. Furnace to cook your ores. And then there is the Zulu. So here people have, there's coal and iron. People have mined most of it, as you can see iron here. And there's also the wood mines. And there's birch that you can sell. And then after there's, there's each place there's premier mines which have rarer ores more of the rare ores and also there is pvp in here so you might want to watch out so if you head to spawn quick web slash spawn you there's also a bunch of other wards and if you don't remember them you can just look over here um uh here uh let's see so wards so there's different ones, there's C is the first one, B, C, so here you see Zulu is your first one, then you have X-Ray, Whiskey over here, Tango, and then it goes on a long time, until Charlie, and for your course, and Bravo is the second highest. So next, there's Slash Yard where it is a PvP area where you might get killed. So I wouldn't recommend going in here unless you have a good gang. I'll explain how to join a gang probably in another episode. So I could kill this guy, but I will just show you some quick. So if you go around this way, as you can see, there's people. I won't PvP right now because I'm just showing you guys. Over here, there is where you can buy ingredients. So you can buy sand, cactus, and a bunch of stuff to make farms. And over here you can sell the drugs you get from from the stuff you get. So you can see people selling stuff. So you can sell a bunch of that. And then at the top here, you can also capture yard, which will give two thousand two hundred two thousand $25,000 um, to the leader of your game. So that's what Yard is. And you might want to watch out because there is 
overpowered people. As you can see, you can control the yard here. So now if you go slash plots, which you unlock at Tango, Tango is, I believe, the fourth ward, and then to get a plot, you can do slash plot me auto, or you can walk to where you see a plot. So to get to your plot, you can just do slash home. This is my plot, as you can see. If you want to come check out my plot, my ID is minus 1520. And I have my stuff here. And then down here in your plot, you can also grow drugs like this. I grow sugar cane for speed. You, just, you can harvest the sugar cane, then turn it into sugar. And then down here, I'm building. Here, let's just go down quickly. You can build a cactus farm which give you meth and as you can see this is my farm uh, shout out to underscore Drexus for helping me build this and Nick the Kid for helping me build it you guys should definitely go check out Nick the Kid he has a YouTube video and he does Woodcraft Prison too so you should re definitely go check that out so if you go down here I'll show you so you can build whatever you want you don't have to build you don't have to build what a cactus farm or sugarcane farm, but I just happen to be automatic sugarcane farm, so the cactus goes in there and then into the chest. So that's pretty much it I wanted to show you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you punch the like button if you enjoyed. Make sure to comment, leave a like, and I'm going to see you guys next time in the next Woody Craft episode. Thank you for watching.